My name is Marilyn Bull, and I'm a pediatrician that knows that parents around the world want to do everything they can to keep their children healthy, safe, and happy. Parents work hard to get their children immunizations to prevent serious diseases. We also know that road traffic crashes are the leading cause of death and serious disability to children in all the countries. Car safety seats are the vaccine to prevent the death and disability that occurs in motor vehicle crashes. Use of car safety seats is an extremely important part of caring for children. And to do it correctly, it should start from the baby's very first ride from the hospital. A rear-facing only car seat allows the child to be comfortable and protected for every ride in the car. The baby can ride, be placed in the car seat, installed with the harness to keep the baby in the seat, and the uh, seat belt is used to keep the seat restrained in the vehicle. Babies and young children ride rear-facing to the highest weight and height allowed by the seat. So as the baby grows, he rides back-facing until his head reaches close to the top of the back of the seat, or he is weight reaches the top weight that is allowed by the manufacturer. When the baby reaches that top weight or weight for um, rear-facing in a rear-facing only seat, he can then ride again rear-facing in this style seat, which is a convertible seat. It's convertible because the baby, as he um, is, becomes older and larger, can still ride rear-facing. Infants and young children in the second year of life are five times less likely to die or have serious injury in a motor vehicle crash rear-facing compared with forward-facing. This is because the forces of the fat crash are distributed equally along the head and torso of that child, and there are less forces um, as than occur when the child is forward facing and, the, and that occurs only on the harnesses of the seat. So the child's feet may actually reach the back of the seat or he may cross his legs. All of that is fine, but he is still very comfortable. Again, when the child comes close to the weight or the height that is allowed by the manufacturer of the seat rear-facing, the child can then be positioned forward-facing in this seat that is called convertible. He can ride sitting up. The harnesses must then be at or above his shoulders. And until he re his ears reach the top of this seat, this is an appropriate um, seat and provides um, great protection for him forward-facing as an older child. It's important to read the manufacturer's instructions because they will tell you the weight um, that is allowed for the seat forward-facing. When the child outgrows the seat with a five-point harness that's over the shoulders, around the hips, and up the crotch, then he must move to a booster seat. And this is an example of a belt positioning booster seat for an older child. The seat belt from the car goes through this slot across the chest and in, under the armrest and is installed into the regular seat belt. So it is the um, seat belt that's now protecting the child. But the belt positioning booster may, brings the child up so that the lap belt part of the seat belt is low across his legs. The seat belt crosses the middle of his chest and not over his ears or his neck. And his legs can bend comfortably over the edge of the seat.
This provides proper protection for a lap shoulder belt for an older child. When the child reaches the top weight or height for a booster seat, he can move to an adult size seat belt. And children fit in adult size seat belts when their bottoms are against the back of the seat, their legs bend over the edge of the seat, the seat belt crosses their chest, and the lap belt lies low across the, their legs, and behaviorally, they will sit there every time. That is the fit for an adult seat belt. So a boost, belt positioning booster provides added protection and ex is extremely important because it keeps the child happy. He can see better out of the window. He's comfortable in his lap shoulder belt because it isn't across his neck. And he's um, very well protected in the car. Belt positioning boosters come in two styles. A high back booster like this one, where there's actually some head support for the child who may fall asleep and lay his head against the side of the seat. Or there is a backless booster that can be used in vehicles that have a headrest to prevent whiplash injury. And they're very lightweight and easily move from car to car. So we're often asked, what's the best seat for my child? Well, the best seat for your child is the one that's appropriate for his size, his weight, and his height, the one that fits appropriately in your car, and the one that will, uh, you will use properly for every trip. It's important to read the instructions that come with the car safety seat, as well as the instructions in the vehicle owner's manual for how to install the seat properly into the vehicle. Parents can find additional information on how to use car seats correctly by going to the American Academy of Pediatrics website, www.healthychildren.org. And remember, always buckle up yourself. Being a role model for your child is extremely important.